In this course, we're going to dive into some of the more meteor features of InDesign, making it work for us instead of us working for it. Throughout the day, we're going to look at a lot of the features of InDesign that allows us to automate our workflow. InDesign was smart enough to ship with a bunch of scripts. And I can come in here and say, corner effects, and tell it I want it to be rounded. When I double click on it, it put a red line through any character style overrides, and it put a red vertical line next to any paragraphs. From the beginning to the very end, I was like, yes, yes, I could totally use this. <laughs> And finally, we're gonna look at some of InDesign's features that help us with workflow. So I can see that the CSV file, this is basically what it would look like if I opened up the Excel file as well. So it's just some information, and I wanna take that information and merge that into my document. I'm gonna go ahead and do that inside my InDesign file. We're gonna look at live pre-flight, and we're gonna use the new alternate and liquid layouts available in CS6 and above. And down here, we have these liquid page rules. This is how it tells it what to do with the content on the page when we create this new alternate layout. And we'll say, okay, and it creates a whole separate layout right in the same document, but it takes this page here and it becomes that. So if you're an InDesign user and you're looking to take the program to the next level, join me for Advanced InDesign.